Hello everyone. I had today off work, so I thought I'd try my hand at a little procedural generation. Uh, I've always loved Game Maker's Toolkit, and he came out with this video back in 2016. But he talks about why Spelunky is both unique and uh, it's different every single time, but then at the same time it feels like it's handmade. It's a mixture of procedural and handmade, and how he breaks down how it's all done. Uh, but what you do is you start with a 4x4 grid, you have an entrance, and then you form a pathway to the exit so you always have a guaranteed way out. Then you fill in all the other rooms with uh, different types of rooms that you fill in. And then that is kind of where it ends up. So you have a guaranteed way to get to the end of every single level. You've got these side rooms that you can get to or not. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give that a shot and see what I could do. So let me see, here's the script that I have so far. Um, you can set the size of whatever grid you want to make. Uh, you have different prefabs, a list of prefabs, entrance, exit, path, non-path, and treasure. Uh, and then each one of those it chooses randomly from that list of prefabs and, and makes that, that room. So obviously the entrance room is going to have a place where the player can spawn in. The exit room has a place where the level can end. And the treasure room obviously is going to have that little treasure chest with something inside. Um, I've got a lot in here already. It's already like 450 lines. Um, but I don't... So all I have so far is the main path, creating the path. And then I have adding the side rooms. And I haven't gotten to adding the items with the decor or baking the nav mesh or spawning in the enemies. So got a ways to go. But let me show you what it looks like so far. All right, so I've got a little scene going on right here. I've got my grid set up on a five by five. Each of the different blocks are color coded so you know which one is which. Let's see what it looks like when you press play. Awesome, you've got the light blue is the entrance, dark blue is the exit, and you've got this guaranteed pathway all the way out. These little green rooms are side rooms, non-path rooms. Red is supposed to be treasure, but as you can tell right here, there's only a 25% chance of of one of the rooms being treasure, of the side rooms being treasure. You can't have a treasure room on the main path. Let's try it again, see what happens. Boom, here we go. Guaranteed pathway out, a few treasure rooms, a few side path rooms. They're all connected by these little bridge sections as well. So there's always a way from one of the side rooms back to the main path and out to the bottom end over there. The main path is always going to start at the top, or sorry, at the bottom of their screen here, and it's always going to end at the top. So entrance, exit. Then you can change the grid over here. You can have a little four by four grid instead. Let's see what that looks like. Boom, all the way out. Let's bump it up to a 20 by 20. See what that looks like. Obviously the bigger it is, the more chance that the game will crash. <laughs> it did not crash, which is always good. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. Woo! Wow, this is way too big. There it is. Okay, so which way is up and down? Here it is. This is the way. You've got the entrance right here. And it goes down, kind of zips around, and finds its way out. And then you've got all the little side rooms. So you've got a lot going on in this little scene. Obviously, the levels wouldn't be that big because then the game would crash really easily. Let's try it. Uh, let's bump it down to a 10 by 10. See what that looks like. Boom. There we go. A little bit nicer. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Yep, entrance, you've got the exit, and you've got all these little side rooms going on around there. Yeah, so that's my procedural script so far. Uh, obviously the next one is gonna be adding different types of rooms uh, so that there's a little bit of variety in each of the path rooms, treasure rooms, side rooms, that kind of thing. And then it's gonna be adding decoration, rocks, pebbles, trees, uh, little walls, things like that. Then you're going to be baking the nav mesh over the whole thing so that the enemies can figure out their way around, throwing in a few enemies, and then that's basically it. So the player can then run from the entrance to the exit, shooting at the enemies as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.